guys, how's it going? Here's your day and welcome to it. Um, I'm on my lunch break right now from work and I just got through uh, dropping the pallets at the house because before my lunch break I put them in the back of my truck and then on my lunch break I went to go and, and pay a bill and uh, oh my gosh, usually I love it when I have the pallets in the back of the truck because it makes the truck smell all woodsy like fresh cut wood. One of them pallets stunk like mold, and I'm like, I get into the truck, and I'm like, oh. so yeah, total uh, grossness. So, oh, and last night, because I was talking about doing a, an intro or whatever, maybe I won't tell you because I want to try and redo it. Anyway, uh, last night I filmed a short uh, uh, outro. So I think it's going to be kind of cute. So I'm going to try and redo that when I get back home because I erased it by accident. I'm like, seriously, are you kidding me? Seriously? So yeah, I erased it. Anyway, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Um, right at this point, I am planning on getting back to the prop car and getting the fog machine stabilized in the back. And uh, maybe I'll jump online tonight and try to find uh, some power supplies on eBay or something. I might even check out Radio Shack. Maybe maybe the prices won't be that bad. Anyway, catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just got through getting home from work and catching up on all my YouTube videos that I watch every day. Kind of like television. And I also have a hello popcorn. This is a dog. You will see her later because I just got through uh, re-recording. The outro that I'm going to use tonight. I'm not sure if it's going to be a constant thing or not. Let me know. Anyway, I'm about ready to head to Lowe's, pick up some more stuff for Tombstones this weekend, and also more stuff for the prop car tonight. And, 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 dun dun dun. This is like a second thought, so I haven't like turned on the lights, so it's dark. It's not dark anymore. All right. You guys saw yesterday the Christmas lights? I went through and took all the wires off of them and clip the leads as long as I could clip them and there's something and I'll just I'm gonna have to hold this right here for a second okay there's something about LED Christmas lights at least GE that you guys may not know look at this look didn't work the way I wanted it here we go hold on stay tuned alright you can actually take the plastic lens off of them so that it exposes just the single LED and I'm not sure if you know too much about LEDs. LEDs are light emitting diodes and the light is extremely directional. In other words, you don't see it too much from the side. You get more from looking at it straight on. But there is some dispersion. Obviously, when you point it at something, the light disperses out over a greater area. Uh, these lenses right here are actually created to reflect the light inside a little bit and the dimples in them are created so that the whole light lights up instead of just the tip. But if you take this off and then you point it at a tombstone or something like that, these little lights, I mean, they're free, they're cheap. It was a bad string of lights. Um, so you guys are gonna start tearing apart your Christmas lights now, aren't you? Anyway. So just a little, uh, a little tip, and uh, as far as uh, something else that you guys don't know about me, this is like, kind of like revealing Troy Day. I took uh, three years of electronics in high school, so I've been out of it for a long time, but as far as uh, AC, DC, theory operation, voltages, um, resistances, uh, CMOS, and other types of computer chips and everything, yeah, I was a nerd in school. Whatever. But, anyway, um, just a little something, and that's why uh, with the uh, glowing footprints that I want to do up to Pepper's Ghost in the back, um, the circuitry, I'm basically going to make that. Um, it's going to take a little bit of research because I have been out of it for like quite a while now. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'm going to Lowe's. See, I was a poet and didn't know. I want to see how that goes. I'm going to Lowe's. All right. Catch you guys in a second. Just got through going to Lowe's and I got the uh, the L brackets and screws that I need. 
and I also got the uh, PVC pipe, and yeah, I've got this thing bowed and bent in here <laughs> so that the whole thing will fit in here and it won't have to stick out the window. However, I just got through going to Radio Shack, and the crazy thing, uh, for a power supply, for the lowest amperage I need for uh, the tail lights, two and a half amps, they wanted, and I can't remember if it was 29, I think it was like $39 for one power supply. So I'm definitely gonna have to find something cheaper uh, online. Uh, so I guess I'll check uh, eBay tonight and uh, see what that yields. So anyway, um, Troy's hungry. I'm gonna go get some grub. So you guys, no, I was gonna say come along with me, but yeah, whatever. Talk to you in a bit. Right, so I was just gonna stop at the BK Lounge. However, it's not too loungy in there right now because they could not accept a credit or debit card because uh, their machine was down. So that sucks. And it kind of brings me to the point too. I'm not sure if I've already told you guys or not. I just thought it'd be really cool if you were totally into making costumes to, um, to make a Burger King costume, because he's kind of creepy anyway, don't you think? Yeah. And uh, Ronald McDonald costume, and then have him like fight and be all like bloodied up and stuff. Have Burger King and McDonald's duke it out. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, so I'm at the next best place, Jack in the Box. All right, guys, so I'm out here at the prop car. I've got my screws and my drill bit, and I've basically laid all the... Uh, uh, bracket pieces where I want them to be and oh, you can't see the side it's the same as the other side it's just laying the brackets out and just making sure that the fog machine doesn't move <laughs> because this car is probably going to get a lot of jolts when it's done and one thing I, I said that I was basically done with all the inside stuff and um, I'm actually not because I forgot that I don't want to have to take a time out or stop the show in order to refill the fog machine and I I totally spaced this off so what I want to do is uh, get a coolant reservoir from like a wrecking yard or something from a car and of course make sure it's all cleaned out and everything and what I want to do is is I want to mount that right up on the side wall right here and then take the tube from that and attach it to the tube to the fog machine that way I'm going to have like a gallon tank for fog juice instead of the little small one that comes in here. And that's going to allow for a lot longer uh, running time and less maintenance when this thing's running. So yes, awesome stuff, totally stoked, totally happy. So let me get these brackets done and uh, I'll show you uh, the end result. So the brackets are done. I basically just tied them all into the side of the fog machine on both sides and then also into oops, sorry, into the ground. But let me give you a word of advice. <clears throat> Open up the fog machine and take a look to see where the screws go first because you don't want to plug this thing in and be like Steve Irwin, man. Be like, whack, have the electricity just get you, or worse, have the smoke escape when you don't want it to. So, yeah, uh, take the lid off the fog machine if you guys even do anything like this, or if you ever put screws in the side of the fog machine, which is kind of like a no-brainer, but, you know, some of us aren't as smart as others. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and side now and find something else to do, but most likely I'm going to wrap this up so that you guys can see the intro, exitro, intro, intro. I get them mixed up. Exitro, intro, entrails. Whoa. Anyway, I'll see you guys inside. I'm sitting here looking at eBay, and I'll tell you right now that I'm absolutely going to be able to find something much cheaper than $40 for one power supply, which was absolutely ridiculous. So I'm looking at one right now that's um, two and a half amp, and that's basically what I need. It was 2.6, but you know a tenth of an amp isn't going to make a huge difference in the intensity of the lights. So two and a half amp, 12 volt DC power supply, uh, zero bids, one day to go, 99 cents. I haven't looked at shipping and handling or whatnot, but um, from all the power supplies I'm looking at, I'm looking at about 
with shipping and handling, no more than like $15 each. So that'll be awesome savings on the pocketbook and we all know how important that is. So I'm gonna wrap this up, but before I do, um, there's a couple comments last night on the videos. And I just want to run through them real quick. Uh, Zach and Jeremy, the Bloodshed Brothers. Um, I actually have sang Josh Turner before, uh, Long Black Train. And uh, that's actually the style that I usually do is like Toby Keith, um, John Michael Montgomery. You know, things are like way down low right here. So, oh, how about some Barry White too? Everybody loves Barry White. So, yeah. Um, let's, uh, and wait, hold on. Um... Joy Zigel, thank you for the uh, comment on my Follis Gump. Um, and oh, also, uh, yes, so far, uh, Haunters, everybody has been like really awesome. So that's really nice to be a part of a community that is nice to people and they're not out for themselves or whatnot. Because that, yeah, okay, enough said. Uh, what else? And it seems as far as uh, the question that I asked last night, uh, what are your ringtones and what are your callerback tunes? And it's kind of a consensus that uh, this is Halloween is actually kind of a, a very popular one. Um, Yard Hunter 5, um, the Howling Wolf and the notification being Thunder. I really like that. I like the, the Thunder because on my phone all I've got is the ding, ding, ding. And that's like kind of annoying. So I like the Thunder. I might have to steal that from you. Um, and I hope that I'm saying this right, so please tell me if I am or not. Dionisha12, I hope that's how you pronounce that. Um, as far as your mad cow comment, I started thinking, and this is actually really funny, because the only thing that I think about when I hear mad cow is, moo! <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, on that note, I'm going to say happy haunting, and I uh, hope you guys like the, uh, uh, God, I see, I keep screwing it up. Intro. Intro. End tro, because it's the end, not the exit, the end. Okay, so until tomorrow, happy haunting. Hope you like the intro, and uh, let me know. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's free, and in this day and age, free is good. So anyway, talk to y'all tomorrow. Sit, popcorn, sit. Good girl.